there is a lot of young people who are coming out of high school and they're not really sure what they're going to do. So that they um, can take a program with us and they can have that experience and they can learn a lot, they grow a lot, that's also our experience that they grow and they will have a better foundation then to decide, do I want to go to college? What should my career be? Do I want to do something else? I was all over the place getting jobs here and there, you know, not really putting thought into what I wanted to be in the future. And as soon as that came up, like started coming up, creeping up on me, you know, I flipped the switch and this has helped me a lot. Work-based learning program uh, is a program that is targeted towards juniors and seniors that helps them to uh, connect to their career uh, during those two years um, through placements in the community. And then they use those placements in order to move forward after graduation and have a really good idea of what they, they want to do for a career. Not everyone is built for college right out of the box. And this gives them opportunity to, to earn a living, to learn how to be a student uh, when you're an adult. And so it's, it's a nice way for them to, to move forward. My older brother actually did it, and he's still with the job that he had in high school. Um, so I got a hold of Mike Williams, and he gave me some paperwork, and I got in, and I'm so glad that I did it. So at the beginning of the year, we spend two weeks going through a variety of different employability skills and then work toward our career plan so that everybody is lined up doing what, what they'd like to do. And then we meet, every day we meet, they come in and sign out. Um, at 11 o'clock, some days we meet and we go over a, different, a variety of different things that relate to employability skills. We just go job shadow people in that field that we are interested in. And we meet up every single day after and talk about what we need to do and how we need to get stuff done, which is staying organized and keeping that strict schedule that you'd have. The expectations for this program are high. And so um, attendance is required daily. Uh, we have a point system, so I treat them as an employer would treat them. So they have a point system, they have to be here, the communication has to be at its best at all times. So if they're not gonna make it to school, they gotta call in to me as well and let me know, you know why they're not going to school. It teaches them responsibility, accountability, uh, and so it really helps to prepare them for what the workplace would expect from them. I think it gives you that push and that drive to actually go and work and get everything situated so you're not struggling when you're out of high school. There's not one day I don't want to go into work. I just, there's new things every single day. You do different things and styles. As I go there more, I really like it and I know that's what I want to do. Well, the community itself has embraced it. Uh, we started it five years ago, um, and the demand in the community, as well as the United States for that matter, um, was high in needing employees, and obviously it's still the same today. So it has expanded, and I have employers that contact me on a regular basis uh, needing workers in a variety of different types of fields. We recruit from the high schools and offer them a free college-based education. You work as you learn. As you go through the system, we are training you on the site. We are also training you in classroom study. At the end, you'll receive an Ivy Tech degree, uh, and you'll have a debt-free education and a job for your lifetime. And so like all of us, as you're going through your career, your careers change as time goes on. And so my goal is to teach them that that's, that's what happens, that just because you start in a career doesn't mean you're going to end in a career. So it's that ever-changing continuation of your career plan that you're going to continue to do. Now, you're not formally going to write it down, but you're going to be actively doing that as an adult and, you know, all the way through to retirement. After I completed my job shadow, I realized that I wasn't interested in engineering anymore because um, I was just more interested in hands-on stuff. So I started to look for automotive stuff and I got a job at an auto shop in town, First Choice Automotive, um, and he let me switch over at the halfway point of the year um, to pursue my career in automotive. One of the things that we see a lot is that um, students do not understand the apprenticeship programs and opportunities like this at each school where they come in and get to see us and speak with us, they just get exposed to the ability to be able to do something different. And that's why I wanted to incorporate a career fair so that more of our students are having access earlier on 
that they can make that connection early and so that more of our kids know what they're doing as you know before they leave high school. The students who participate in this they are um, they have a broad understanding of the world as such they also become more outgoing they become more sure about what they want they have uh, they be, they also learn many uh, team uh, skills so they learn to cooperate with a lot of different people so in that sense their foundation for the next step in their life is uh, is more solid I'd probably be all over the place right now if it wasn't for this program. I think it's a great opportunity for kids trying to figure out what they want to do in the future and just get them in the right path and what they want to pursue.